Thank you for staying with us. Now, calls for restructuring is in the news again. This time, the social political groups Ohaneze Indigo and Afeni Fere have asked the federal government to take advantage of COVID-19 pandemic to restructure the country. It was also asked to embrace federalism. A leader from the Afeni Fere that the present constitution is an imposed constitution by the Muslim military in the north, which nobody contributed to it, stressing that even the then head of state, Abubakar Abdul Salami, said he did not know what it is in the constitution before he swore in President Lucia Gombasajo. And to continue the discussion, which began yesterday, is Dr. Austin Uweze, former gubernatorial candidate of S for SDP at Bonny State, Vazum, and also political analyst, Gola Oba, and Vazum also, and legal practitioner, Evans Ufeli. Thank you, gentlemen, for staying still with us. Once again. They all, they all are lazy and have asked, they've asked the federal government to take advantage of the coronavirus pandemic to restructure the country. What areas would you say are in dire need of restructuring? Because there seems to be so much talk about restructuring, but not so much lines about on which we should restructure has been mentioned. I'll go with you, Golaba, first. Chewing is inevitable at this juncture because the political entity called Nigeria, as it presently functions, is in a state of comatose. And let, let's be very honest with ourselves. This country is not punching its weight. It's not punching in its weight fundamentally economically. And the reason why it's not punching its weight fundamentally economically is because Powers are too concentrated in a manner and in a place that is so distant from centers of productivity. Let me give you a typical example, a recent example that will, that will further enhance the argument for restructuring. They may not even call it restructuring. The incumbent governor of Zamfara, Matawale, discovered that there were enormous amount or there are enormous amount of ecological damage being wrecked, being ripped in the state by some fudgy, dodgy Chinese miners that at a point he had to chase them out and he contacted the federal government in Abuja that they should allow, they should give his state the mining permit that it would bring machinery and personnel to mine and whatever it gets it will share with the state i'm waiting for the day that the state of Bayasa or the or the state of cross river or the state of Akwaibo would also tell the federal government you know what the people that you have given the concession to mine or explore and exploit oil, good oil, in our states have so abused our environment that we believe that we have a package that will not only give you what you need, the revenue right. that you get from, from, from we being the orchestrator and of, of the exploitative process, but that we will further be concerned in how that resource is mined or exploited in such a way that it will not cause the enormous amount of ecological damage that it has caused historically. It has even brought the United Nations environmental uh, project to that area. So there are so many things that can itemize, but the Zamfara case being the most being the latest one, this constitution is dystopic, is dysfunctional. All right, Golaba, I need to interject there so I can, I can take... Um, to review it. Let, me, let me take Evans Ophelia's thought on that. Let me interject you a bit there now. There, there seems to be, Evans Ophelia, now, there seems to be many, many calls, federalism, confederation, and the constitution review. And many people have blamed the 1999 constitution as the bane for our underdevelopment and even the corruption that has been developed as a people. Now, do you share the same opinion on this? And if yes, 
Um, what, what reasons do you think our leaders have to have kept those constitutions still? Well, I, I, I think that um, the 1999 constitution as amended, as presently constituted, contributes perhaps 80% of the problems we have in this country. Now, not too long ago, two years ago, the Eighth Assembly, or three years ago, the Eighth Assembly had an opportunity to tinker with the Constitution through a constitutional review process. And what we found out at the end of the day is that most of them uh, voted against devolution of power, which would have been the turning point of success in the democratic history of Nigeria. They failed at that, and then the country is left in utter distress. As I speak to you today, we are perhaps the single largest liability in the world. That is why we are called the poverty capital of the world. With all the resources, I don't know much resources that we have as a country. If you check all over the world, the first world nations have five basic variables or, or indices of development, and that is access to credit, stable currency, enabling environments, quality of life, and um, uh, uh, the rest of it. Now, those indices, if I ask you, which of these do we have in Nigeria? We have none. So we have a poorly economically orchestrated strategy through the 1999 constitution that has held us so down such that we have not been able to make progress in this country. Look at what we are discussing today, talking about the evolution of, uh, 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 of financial resources between the legislature and the executive. In the 21st century, it is unfortunate that we have collectively and individually made Nigeria unworkable make Nigeria detestable, and make Nigeria uncontrollable. And we are reaping the fruits of that uh, sojourn, which we have taken and brought shame upon ourselves. So until and unless there's a proper restructuring where the state will have autonomy to manage their own resources and contribute to the center, and then we establish a federal structure that works. Because what we have now is a unitary system that is parading itself as a federal structure. Nowhere in the world you have this kind of system of government that does not even take into consideration the social political condition of the citizen. A constitution that have failed to provide social support system for the people. Section 14, subsection 2 of the 1999 Constitution says, it is hereby accordingly declared that sovereignty belongs to the people through which government derive our legitimacy, that the security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. That section of the Constitution, the same Constitution says that is unjusticiable. The same Constitution provides for social support for the citizens and the welfare of the state. And in the same Constitution, the same provision is neutralized by section six, subsection 6C, popularly known as the outside clause. So until we, we derive the right kind of political structure by making sure that we, we, we completely uh, take out the 1999 constitution and then come up with a constitution that will reflect our reality. Okay. That we take let care me, of. Let me bring Doctor Doctor Austin up. We take care of the economy and make sure that everything is put in order for the purposes of the delivering of the promises of democracy. Until that is done, we will continue to chase shadow. Doctor Austin, now there, there have been several calls for restructuring, especially since President Buhari won his second term in power in 2019. Calls have been made by journalists, politicians, elder statesmen, and, and so on. But in your opinion, has the administration of President Buhari restructured or maybe even began the restructuring of any sector in, in Nigeria yet? Dr. Austin Weze. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just wondering, nothing has been done. In, in, uh, to me, uh, my earlier comment that we need a revolutionary kind of thing uh, to uh, move Nigeria forward. If there is no political restructuring, 
There cannot be economic restructuring. The institutions are weak. We need the, to restructure politically so that the economic side can be more effective. Without restructuring and jettisoning the 1999 constitution and bringing up a new constitution that will allow everybody, different parts of this country, they have different character, uh, characteristics. A constitution is written so that each person, each segment of the society could express themselves, achieve their God, God's giving uh, goals and, and uh, ambition and purposes. So without that, you know, because the constitution is holding us down, we need to really move out of this and inform the constitution, come up with a constitution that will take Nigeria's heritage into consideration. Because what we have practicing now is not even a, a, a democracy. We are not. We need to, to enforce something that will take our heritage into consideration. Borough tried and uh, we have tried the parliamentary system. It never worked. We have tried the, uh, even the parliamentary system is even better than what we are practicing now. But what we're saying is uh, forget the parliamentary system. Forget the um, presidential system. Let us restructure based on the culture, the tradition, the, the before now, there were ways that we used to, you know, select our leaders. The major problem we have is a process. Take Botswana, for instance. When the British left Botswana, what the Botswana uh, uh, president and their leaders did was to take the good side of the, the, the British system and, 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 and embellish with their own traditional system. In the process of choosing chiefs, that's the process they use today. Before you become a chief in Botswana, you must have gone through, they must have seen your pedigree. They must have seen what, what you're capable of doing, what you've achieved before you, uh, you become a chief. Dr. Also, you should wrap up then, now, please. Yeah. yeah, so what we're saying here is nothing will work. But as long as we have this constitution with us, nothing will work. We cannot grow economically. Our institutions will continue to be weak because it's institutions, strong institutions that drive economic growth. So we can't achieve our economic uh, 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 set goals unless we restructure politically and strengthen the institutions. All right, Dr. Olsen. So that's I, I need, where I need, we I have to, to I need to interject there, Can't Dr. run away from restructuring. And let, me, let me interject there. And in just 60 seconds, I'll take um, all of you gentlemen, your, your opinion on this in just 60 seconds or less. Now, the former governor of Ondo State, Dr. Mimiko, also stated that if the country must be kept together, that there was need to restructure. Do you share this opinion and, and see the likelihood of any trouble, for instance, maybe in the nearest future of Nigeria, if the so-called restructuring doesn't take place? I'll, I'll go first with you, Dr. Austin, in just 30 seconds. Dr. Austin, yes, uh, the former governor of Mito was on point. And because you can see all the things going on in, in, in everywhere, check out the ministries. One particular set of people are occupying 90% of positions, federal and, and all that. It, it is not a country. And also, when you, you, you have movement of um, uh, some uh, people at the, to the other part to cause problems, there will be trouble. I'm sorry to say, there will be trouble if we don't restructure. I agree with you, right, Dr. Austin. Completely. Thank you very much, Dr. Austin Wesley, for your, your thought there. Eva so Zufeli, the in, in 30 come, seconds, Eva Zufeli, let me, let me take your reaction to that, based yeah, on what the I, former I, governor said. I think that, I think that um, the order for restructuring is long overdue. Um, it's we, the re, lack of restructuring has been the continuous uh, uh, crisis that uh, has befallen us. If you talk about uh, insecurity in Nigeria, uh, the insurgency, you have banditry, kidnapping, and all the host of vices, social and economic vices. They are all as a result. They can be traced directly to the lack of proper restructuring and uh, positive governance. Oh, right, thank you, Evans. But Mr. So Golaba, in, in 30 seconds, please, I need, I need your, your, your path in shorts on this, please. When I hear sentences like there will be trouble, I want to nudge the person to say there will be, or we are already having troubles. Troubles, not worse. 
Sakwato Zamfara Katsina banditry. As we speak, in about five local government areas of the state of Katsina, where the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria comes from, people are emigrating to Niger Republic. The other day, we, ha we read reports of people emigrating Nigeria to Niger Republic. You want to go westward, Kaduna, you can't even, you were, you were born, Benny Hap, you were born in Kaduna, you can't even fly to, I used to tell myself that I will never take, you know, vehicular uh, journey to most places in Nigeria. Kaduna is the only place I can't even take, uh, you know, uh, uh, an air distant tour because from 9 a.m., 9 a.m., they start kidnapping people traveling between the airport to the Mr. city. Bonobar, you should wrap up now. We're out of go, time. Yes. You want to go eastward, you have insurgency. You come down, you know, you see kidnapping, cultism. This All is right. not our Mr. Bonobar, society. I need, I need to let you go. I need, I need to so let you go now. We have a constitution that is functionally a fallacy. That is it. Mr. Bola, our political analyst, I want to thank you for joining us on the show and for your very insightful contribution on the show tonight. And same with you, Dr. Austin Uweze. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. It's been a pleasure having you. And legal practitioner, Evan Zufeli, thank you for your time and for joining us on the show. And here is my take. Although faced with criticisms from some parties, I believe the new Executive Order 10 will give allowance for a balanced federation where appropriate distribution and separation of powers will exist and the judiciary would now wield its much clamored for financial independence. I believe the nation will benefit from this move by the president, if well structured. There is also no doubt that the state legislature would also enjoy from the executive arm of their various governments and will encourage healthy competitions among state legislatures, which will lead to advancement and development in the sector. However, like they say, to whom much is given, much is expected. I therefore urge the state legislature to work in line with the provisions of the Constitution and not to abuse the new powers granted them by the President or the Executive Order 10. Restructuring is a word that has been said repeatedly by many stakeholders in Nigeria. I have a question for those individuals. What is restructuring? How can we take advantage of it to turn our country around? How can it make Nigeria proud of itself again? I also yearn for the restructuring of our nation but one which will make Nigeria great again, and one which will definitely make our leaders more accountable to what they do when they're in office. The truth is, this cause will not stop until something tangible, which is the people of Nigeria can see and attest to, is done. But calling for restructuring every time you have the chance will not fix Nigeria's problem. To those in position of power, I ask that you begin to take the steps towards the betterment of Nigeria. Restructuring will not take place in the blink of an eye. Neither does it have to be undertaken by a president. We can improve our places of jurisdiction. Restructuring might also be tough for the citizens, so I urge the citizens to be patient with our leaders as they attempt to move our land forward. And with that, also faced with criticism from some parties, I believe that a new executive order will give allowance for a balanced federation where appropriate distribution and suppression of powers will exist and the judiciary we now wait its much clamor for financial independence. This, I believe, should be put into consideration. And that's our show for tonight. Thank you for staying with us. Plus, politics returns same time tomorrow. Until then, stay well and be safe.